Hello doers, with Odoo Contacts you can encode and manage your contacts information quickly and efficiently. Contact records hold a vast amount of data, ranging from basic contact information to more complex info, like accounting or bank information. Contact information for both customers and vendors is integrated throughout all of Odoo's applications. With Odoo, you can keep all of your contact information in one central location, and you can even eliminate any nightmares of disorganization. So, enough chit chat, let's see how this all works inside of Odoo. So here we are on the main dashboard. We're gonna go into our contacts application over here. Wow, I've got a lot of them. Now from here, I could choose any contact and edit their information. Let's jump into the one my mouse cursor is on, Azure Interior. So above the name, we have the option to choose if this contact is a company or an individual. In this case, Azure Interior is a very company name. It's a company. You can also add some other information such as address. We got tax identification, phone, mobile, email, website, and tags down there as well. And if we go to the bottom here, I have a few tabs. So let's start on the contacts and addresses tab right there. So inside of here, I can actually add contacts that are associated with this company and related addresses. For example, if I have a specific contact person, I can add that information here. So when I click add over here, we're gonna create a contact in this point, which is what it says at the top. Now here I can specify whether it's a contact, an invoice address, a delivery address, follow-up address, or other address. I can also add the contact name, as well as the address, email, phone, and mobile numbers as well. So I'm going to select in my case a contact, and you'll notice some stuff disappears, and it's gotta have a name. Well, they have to have a name. In our case, we're gonna pick Frank Miller. We gotta select the title. I'm gonna select from the drop down. We're gonna call him Dr. Dr. Frank Miller, Dr. Miller. We're gonna give him a position as well. In our case, we're gonna put owner. Dr. Frank Miller owns Azure Interior. Now for over here, we have an email, which is frank at azure.com. Very, very precise. In our case, you'll notice down here, we also have the option to add an internal note down here as well. So to do that, we just click inside of this text field and start typing anything that we'd like. Perhaps I would like to leave a nice note about the customer. In my case, great customer, very rich money span. Now that we're done, we're just going to select save and close. Perfect. Frank exists now, and only we know that he's wealthy. Now up next, I'm going to click on the sales and purchase tab over here, which I want to make a quick note. It will only appear when the sales purchase or point of sale applications are installed. So inside of here, I can actually do a couple of actually really cool things, like assign a specific salesperson. Maybe AC helps this person, company out a lot. So to do that, we're going to select them because I just said that. But actually, she is not the greatest, so we're going to select Mark Demo instead. AC is cool, though, and a wonderful person. So let's click the drop down next to payment terms as well. When do they pay us? We could change it to immediate payment if we would like instead of the end of the month. We have a lot of options. But I'm also going to set, just leave it as is, which was end of the following month. I can even assign them to a preferred delivery method or apply a barcode to the contact as well. And the barcode option I think is actually pretty neat. And I also have some miscellaneous fields I can configure on this form, such as we have a company ID and a few other bottom fields. I realize I should scroll further. If you need these, this is where you will find them. If I purchase products from this company, I can also designate one of our users as the buyer for this company as well, as you could tell over here from the purchase section. I can even specify further payment terms as well, 1099 and other things such as a receipt reminder, which is a toggleable option that has further customization as well. And next, let's go into accounting right there. Great. Now this, as you guessed it, is going to appear when the accounting application is installed. Here I can add any related bank information, all of that stuff like journals, account number, etc., etc. There's even a field where I can configure how to format electronic invoicing as well for this actual contact. Now following the accounting tab, we have internal notes, where internal notes can be left on this contact, just like we did with Frank Miller contact earlier, like wonderful company. Money, money, money as well. Then we're going to click into the partner assignment tab over here, which by default includes geolocation and other partner options, including 
partner activation that we have right there, and partner review as well. These are only present when the enterprise resellers module is installed. Finally, let's go over to membership over here. And this can help you manage any memberships that are being offered to this specific contact. It should be noted that this tab is associated with the members application. So keep that in mind. And that is one of these contacts. Now, if you direct your eyes over to the top of the page up here, we have a lot of these smart buttons over here, and that's what we call them. Here we see some records related to this contact that were created on other apps. As you can imagine, Odoo integrates information from every single application. For example, if I click into the opportunities smart button over here, we get taken immediately over to all opportunities related to this customer using Odoo CRM over here. But let's return to our contact via the breadcrumbs, which in Odoo today are wonder bread because you're all wonderful. Now, just so that you know, if the corresponding applications are installed, their related smart buttons will appear up here at the top. So for example, we can also see any meetings, sales, POS order subscriptions, tasks and tickets as well, and even more with an option over here like purchases. And that's because we have all of these applications installed. And these are all connected to this one contact, including the website, partner ledger and other options. So deliveries, documents, loyalty cards, and direct debits will also link to smart buttons like this, should there be any outstanding on file for this contact as well. You'll also notice that go to website option that I was talking about earlier. So if the contact is a partner, you'll be able to actually visit their partner page on your Odoo built website. Now, if I decide that I no longer want to have this contact active, I could simply archive their record. So to do that, all I actually have to do is go to the gear menu over here in the top left and select archive right there. Again, resulting in a confirmation pop-up over here. With this contact now successfully archived as indicated by this banner up here, and it's a very nice indication, they won't show up in the main contacts page, but I can still search for them with the archive filter. I can also unarchive them if we decide to work with them again. So to do that, if you did it on accident, unarchive, boom. As soon as I do that, banners are removed and everything is back to normal. Let's go back to the main contacts page over here, and we're going to select an individual contact, Brandon Freeman, right there. First off, on his contact page, I can actually see that this is an individual and not a company. Due to that, you'll notice that we have a few additional fields on this page that aren't visible if company is selected. For example, I can add an associated company beneath his name right there, selected from the dropdown. But I can see that Brandon is already associated with Azure Interior, so I'm going to leave that as is. And moving on, there's also an additional option that select what kind of address that Brandon has over here by selecting from our menu button over here as a drop down. You can even do a follow up address, other address, contact address, which is just a normal one. Now, once that that's done, we're going to move on from that because other than that, I still have the same fields that we saw before where I can actually add Brandon's phone number or see it in case it changed over here. And then we also see things like his job position, website and more. Additionally, I can actually add what his job position is over at Azure Interior if I know that, along with his specific tax ID if I also have that information. Now let's say I just heard ring ring, Brandon got a promotion, now senior creative director. Just like doctors, seniors need to know that they are senior in their role. So to make that adjustment, all I did was type in SR before the existing creative director data inside of the job position field, and that's it, we're updated. It should also be noted that forms like this autosave but you also have the option to manually save this by selecting on your little cloud icon up at the top. And now we have saved manually. Now, before we part ways, you'll see Brandon's associated company, Azure Interior, has an arrow to the right of it when we hover over it right there. This is called an internal link inside of Odoo. When I click this, Odoo takes me to the contact page of Azure Interior. Now, inside of here, as you notice, under the contacts and addresses, we see Brandon Freeman. And would you look at that? The recognition he deserves. Senior Creative Director. Talk about staying connected with everyone. That's all for this tutorial, folks. Go grab a snack. Have a good one.